this place. Right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission, to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees, or to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, this is Catherine. Who may I ask is calling? Oh, of course. Andrew. Here, follow me. Well, have data to not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator, the carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? The better you are at shooting wolves, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Coming for you, bee wolf! Yep! Oh, yeah! Gotta protect the hive! Nice! Wow! Get... You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to Entomology. If those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. Veronica. That's the idea. A moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. 
Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call, but uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. There's so much to explore. But I shouldn't keep Harry waiting. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school middle school okay now do you know the hang on you're a popular guy sorry it's just my tutoring job you were saying you know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants yeah I think so about genetics and plant hybridization exactly so dr. Foster up ahead he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics Wow hey when you were walking around did you have a chance to feed the fish no, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and that we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. I see what you're saying. The algorithm is similar to long division, if you look at it that way. Coming through. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Interesting. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart.
Let's see. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Okay, if I combine these traits... Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real-world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. -y. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I... Put it. Don't tell me you lost it. Nope. False alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
One quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? But Coney Island later, yeah? You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey! Sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I... I was... I just got a new job! For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible! But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but... duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see.
wait to see this grow. This works. These plants will be growing faster and bearing more fruit than ever. Just imagine what Feast could do with all of that. Okay, made some great new hybrid seeds for them. Just gotta get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. I just gotta patch this up. Seems to be multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. Hmm, pipe's blocked by that cart. Uh, gotta take care of those. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? This should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. I wonder what other field projects the EMF has worked on. The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong? Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Rock! 
Snake, come on! Now have your boss with the main get this kind of tech! True hunter knows how to come up. You just said I don't know! Clear back! Seriously though, where's your boss take Lee and Jordan? You criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss these chases when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though. With actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Whoa! Is that a real gun? That actually works? Mind if I take a look under the hood? I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay! Get him out of here! You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. And yet you always... Now, where's your boss? The robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? Send this location to MJ. Maybe she can take up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ, did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. 
could draw one of them away. I heard something. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. <laughs> totally. Talk soon. You, Alaska. I tracked poachers for the parks, but when I'd find them, I was harsher than my bosses would have preferred. Idiots. After the sixth incident, I got put on, what do they call it? A leave of absence, so I torched their building. Nice. Hold up in my place afterwards and waited for him to come for me. But it was Craven who did. Asked me if I wanted to hunt real game. <laughs> That's everyone. Now, what were they up to? Hello. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others. All around the city. I'll send this to Ganky. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yes, it's loaded. What are you using? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. Want some honey? You hungry too? <laughs> Easy now. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Nice. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. Surrounding bases are online. Remaining blind secured. Cloaking feels operational. Good. Beetles, talent drones, ammunition, rush. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich. Or well connected. Or both. <laughs> Thanks a lot. 
You never told me who you bet on outside Volgograd. His name does not deserve to be spoken. He got his youth to give him the advantage. And he had lived there all his life. In the jail perfect. It makes sense. His age is what did he mean. He got impatient. Against the one man who does not. You think another hunter would challenge Craven here? Only if they are fools. Look around. Craven has given us the greatest hunt of our lives in this city. We were aimless before, but here, truly is the land of opportunity. That it is. What the hell was that? next. Like this is the only way. A research lab? Even studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. That's the Tiara Abitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to... Riotea? Guess Craven could. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa! And not a single scratch? Almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hey, MJ. I have another name for you. Craven. Seems like he's the boss of these guys. He's here on some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more fires must we light out in the city? 
As many as we need to. Craven said they surrounded it in his dream. But if his dream is accurate, then the fires are fated to happen anyway. Why not wait for them? I will hit this on his terms, not fights. Eyes on Spider-Man! <laughs> Up top! <laughs> some answers instead of questions right now that looks promising all right craven what are you looking for wait i get bringing scorpion and lee on a hunt but black cat's a thief We're gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> nice, doggy, kitty, robot!
Finally! I was wondering when animal control would show up! Those teeth are no joke! Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Those teeth are no joke! Heal! Roll over! Play dead! Finally! I was wondering when Animal Control would show up! Gotta stay farther back! Actually, now that you're here, question! What's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help! Listen, this would go a lot easier for everyone if someone just filled me in. Crave to hunt what man fears most. That's all you need to know. Oh, so he's hunting failure? Intimacy? Clouds! It's clouds, isn't it? Good riddance, I say. Guys, putting together quite the team.
Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Uh, can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. I see you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. So I found a base belonging to those safari pirates, or hunters, as they call themselves, and learned their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion. And he's got a whole hit list of supergirls. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? I don't know. But this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. He's just on their list, too. Black Cat? Your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but... Sorry, be right back. Looks like an accident waiting to happen. Hundreds! Spider-Man's after us! You sure you wanna do this? Okay! <laughs> Keep your eye up! out to you with some addresses. Would you be up for taking point on this? I got you! 
Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find Lee Miles. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? Should help out Unc. Get the rest of his stuff. Definitely work. I mean, if I was rich, I'd take advantage of that backdrop too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. Casters. I've seen the questions about that new Emily May Foundation. Who are they? What do they do? Well, big picture, it's an Oscorp spinoff, which we don't love, I know, but the man in charge, Harry Osborne, has got a decent rep. At the very least, he hired my favorite bee scientist, AKA apiologist, Dr. M. Young. They're the foremost expert on colony collapse disorder and a pretty sick ukulele player, if you happen to follow them on the socials. So, young Osborne, your foundation has a lot of work to do repairing your father's legacy, but so far, you're off to a good start. Don't forget to pay your rent on the first, or, you know, withhold your checks in protest. Whatever, do you. Later. 